What's up, you guys? Welcome back into iHeartRadio's official wrestling podcast, The Battleground Podcast. I'm your host, Battle, and if you want to follow us on social media, you could do so. We're on Instagram, Battleground Podcast. Just search that, hit that follow button. Uh, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Just search Battleground Podcast wherever uh, you're on social media, and you can find us there. Let's be friends. Uh, but today, we got the big announcement earlier as I was scrolling through Twitter. Tony Khan made a big announcement about tomorrow night's AEW Dynamite show live on TBS, and of course, right up the road from us uh, in Lexington at Rupp Arena. Uh, Mark Briscoe is going to be wrestling Jay Lethal tomorrow night on AEW Dynamite. Pretty stoked about that. Uh, but we do have a special guest on the show today, and it was the guy that made that tweet about Mark Briscoe wrestling. Tony Khan joins the show. Tony, my man, how are you, buddy? Well, it's been a long, long week, Tim, but it's great to be with you. Uh, thanks for having me on today. Man, we are excited to have you back on the show. And, uh, you know, the one thing that I was really excited about, and I was scrolling through Twitter right before, uh, you know, you jumped on the phone, was you made a big match announcement uh, heading into the AEW Dynamite in Lexington, Kentucky. We're going to see Mark Briscoe versus Jay Lethal. Yeah, it's going to be a great match to honor a great man. These two men requested this match. Mm -hmm. uh, Wednesday would be the 39th birthday of the late, great Jay Briscoe and his longtime friend and rival, Jay Lethal, and his brother, Mark Briscoe, wanted to have this match to honor the legacy of Jay Briscoe. And I fought hard to make it happen, and I'm really excited about the match. Uh, and I believe it's going to be a great one, and I think it's great that they're going to be able to honor the legacy of somebody that everybody in pro wrestling has so much respect for the great Jay Briscoe on his 39th birthday this week on Wednesday night dynamite on TBS. Uh, and with everything happening, uh, this is going to be something really great for everybody in the locker room who is rallying around the Briscoe family. Right, for sure. And of course, you know, it's it shows how much Jay touched not only the wrestling world in promotions, but also as wrestling fans. And you look around and there's tributes all over uh, from, you know, indie companies, GCW, all the way up to Stanford and beyond. What is the uh, heading into the AEW Dynamite on TBS? What has been the backstage atmosphere been like and how do you kind of regroup and move on after, you know, a, a heartbreaking loss to the to the roster and to the family that you guys have with AEW and ROH? Well, I think last week, to, to be honest, I think a lot of us were still in shock. Uh, you know, we were about 24 hours off finding out that Jamin had passed away. And uh, Jay Briscoe, somebody that is just beloved in the wrestling business. And everybody here, uh, you know, really, really liked him. And uh, we've gotten to know him, many of us at AEW, a lot better in the last year since I had acquired Ring of Honor, you know, with the Briscoes mm -hmm. being the top tag team in the history of Ring of Honor and now the Ring of Honor tag team champions. So uh, the whole thing uh, was a shock to everybody. And uh, I think everybody in the locker room really immediately tried to rally around Jay's family, around Mark and, you know, everybody trying to bring good energy together to support Jay's two daughters in their recovery uh, from what was a tragic accident. And thankfully, uh, there's been some positive news about the recovery that Jay's two daughters are making from that accident. Uh, but the whole thing's been a shock. And so uh, going into this show, I, I, I don't know. I mean, we'll see uh, how everybody has been coping uh, this past week. But I know that uh, it's not going to be easy. Right, for sure. And, you know, the thing that with, with us here on the show is we actually uh, became close to the Briscoes ever since Crockett Cup because we, we had them on the show, and then we just became really close with the guys. And, of course, you know, when, when I was sitting there last week just scrolling through Twitter and I saw that you had posted that, I was like, at first I thought maybe it was like one of these fake Tony Khan accounts that a lot of people have created. Um, and I was like, that that that's that's not it. I, I literally had just texted him not too long ago, congratulating them about you know completing the trilogy with FTR and and you know and then I kept seeing everything else and I was like that that's it, it was one of those ones that devastated me and 
you know, and I didn't know him very well like you guys did. But I mean, it's one of those it, it was a devastation to wrestling fans around the world once getting that news. Um, but I'll never forget where I was. And it's one of those things you'll never forget where you were uh, when you hear some of these uh, terrible things. And uh, absolutely, I think we were all in shock. But it's it's really at least I think beautiful that tomorrow night everybody can come together on Wednesday night dynamite and honor the life and legacy of Jay Briscoe this week on Wednesday, uh, because it's, uh, not only been a week since he was tragically taken away, but also it's his 39th birthday. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's just a beautiful thing that his brother, Mark and his longtime friend and rival Jay lethal can go out there and go one-on-one -on -one to celebrate Jay Briscoe on AEW Dynamite. Definitely. And, uh, you know, speaking of AEW Dynamite at Rupp Arena in Lexington in our backyard, let's kind of talk about uh, the stack card as you added the Mark and Jay Lethal. I mean, you've got Brian Danielson, who was going to face one-third of the ROH six-man world tag champs with the machine, Brian Cage, which this is kind of a big match. Danielson's got to win it, right, if he wants to challenge MJF for the world title revolution. Cage has really been on a tear these last few months. What can fans expect from this marquee matchup? Well, I think it's a very interesting situation. Certainly the Iron Man match, 60 minutes looming as a big possibility at Revolution. But right now, Brian Danielson has, you know, he's faced really tough wrestlers in recent weeks. And I think he's going to fight the toughest opponent yet in the machine, Brian Cage. And I got to say, this could be the dreaded trap game uh, to have uh, Brian Danielson going into the ring, taking on somebody who is uh, probably not only one of the strongest wrestlers in AEW, but uh, I, I think also one of the most dominant, one of the most powerful. You know, we saw a Friday night on Rampage, what a machine and what a monster Brian Cage is. And uh, he's now got... Brian Danielson in his sights and Brian Danielson got a bounty on that arm. Mm -hmm. And I think that, uh, certainly it's something to watch. You know, I, I'd love to have that match at revolution on pay-per-view, but with the great opponents that we're putting Brian in the ring with, uh, you know, I, I've been handpicking the best opponents and I think Brian cage is the toughest one yet. So it'll be a great match and it should be a great test, uh, of what the American dragon is all about. Definitely for sure. And of course you've got some other stacked uh, matches on that card. You got the three-way dance between Dr. Britt Baker, Tony storm and Ruby Soho. Uh, and you've also got Darby Allen taking on uh, at the house of blacks, buddy Matthews. I mean, when you, you see this card from top to bottom, is there one that you're, that you kind of put your finger on and said, okay, uh, you know, this one's going to be the match. Well, I think that, First of all, we're all very excited about Mark Briscoe versus mm -hmm. Jay Lethal. And uh, that was certainly not a long-term plan to be the match, but that is a match that I think everybody in the world of professional wrestling will have their eyes on now. And uh, that is certainly a big focus for us now. Uh, so that'll, that'll be something really special. And I think the whole card, we were – we've been on this really amazing run of shows. Oh, absolutely. Like, and, it's not, and it's not, you know, that's objective feedback. Like when you go to, for example, cage match, which is like the IMDB of pro wrestling where mm -hmm. they rate uh, the shows and the fans go on and, and give the shows a rating out of one to 10 scale. Uh, this has been the best run of shows we've ever had. Yeah. You know, a lot of people talk about the run to revolution 2020 that we had three years ago. It's crazy to think that was three years ago. Uh, but it's some of the best stuff we've ever done. And people say maybe that was the best run of TV we'd ever had. The run going into Revolution 2022 was also very special. And here we right. are going into Revolution 2023 and maybe some of the best TV we've ever done. And certainly in the opinion of the fans, this is the best run we've ever had. So all the matches top, top to bottom on this card felt like a really – stacked show it felt like a pay-per-view lineup going into this mm -hmm. week's wednesday night dynamite but now with the addition of mark briscoe versus jay lethal i think uh it feels even bigger 
Oh, for sure. And it's going to be must-see TV to watch tomorrow night on TBS. Uh, and one last question, because I know we're on a time crunch here, but in some recent news, we heard from the IWGP World Champion Okada, and he said he would love to have a World Cup type event in pro wrestling. And I think we all would like to do that. And would even come to you and Triple H personally, would you be open to such an event? And do you think there's enough interest there that all the many different federations would play nicely in the same sandbox? Well, I've got experience working with different promotions and, and you know, promoting angles and, and matches and storylines across different companies. And it could be challenging, but we came together with New Japan Pro Wrestling to put on, I think, the best pay-per-view of the year mm -hmm. last year, Forbidden Door. And there are challenges in putting on an event like that and getting, you know, the matches set. But uh, certainly it's something I would be open to. I'm open to working with anybody in pro wrestling um you know so you never know Ooh, that that kind of leaves the door crack for us wrestling fans to start fantasy booking uh tony it's been an honor to have you on the show today man we're looking forward to watching aew dynamite live on tbs and of course you can still grab tickets aew.com uh if you want to go and check out aew dynamite at rup arena tony it's always a pleasure getting to have you on the show and we look forward to talking to you again soon buddy Hey, thanks for having me on, Tim, I, and hopefully I'll get to catch up with you soon and see you this week on TBS.